Signs of the so-called special military operation are everywhere in Moscow, from roadside recruitment posters to Z-themed souvenirs. Now, there's another example, and it'll be hitting people's pockets. To pay for the war in Ukraine, the Kremlin wants to hike taxes, which is a pretty rare thing in Russia. Most people here have been paying the same income tax rate for more than 20 years now. But with defence spending sucking up nearly a third of this year's budget, it's a case of drastic times calling for drastic measures. At the front line, it's generally poorer Russians who provide the manpower. The plan is for the wealthy to now provide the money with higher taxes for the higher paid and a rise in corporation tax too. The government is no longer concerned about you eating well, but rather about you producing more guns. So for the past like two years, Russian economy is running on the uh, state spending. It cannot last forever because in effect, it's mortgaging your future. Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin. According to President Putin and his team, the reforms will generate nearly $30 billion. Officially, it's money to help develop Russia's regions. But some doubt that. I don't think they have enough money for the special military operation. That's why. I don't think it's fair. The bottom threshold should be higher. This will just affect people who work a lot. But right now in Russia, everyone's affected by the current path, and even so-called peace missions need to be paid for. Ivor Bennett, Sky News, Moscow.